Do you know what's the difference between first order and zero order elimination kinetic? Welcome to nonstopneuron.com where learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. In this video we will understand difference in rate of drug elimination in first and zero order kinetic. Let's get started with first order kinetic. It is like water moving out of a hole at the bottom of a container. If water level in container increases, volume of water coming out of the hole also increases. There is no limit to how much water can move out in a given time. With increasing volume of water in container, rate of water flow also increases. First order elimination kinetic is something similar. Here also, as drug concentration in body increases, its rate of elimination also increases. Means the more the drug in the body, the faster it is removed. Let's come to zero order kinetic now. It is like cars moving through a partial roadblock. Here only limited car can go ahead in a given time. Having more cars in line doesn't increase how many cars can cross the block in a given time. Similarly, in zero order kinetic, rate of drug elimination remains constant irrespective of drug concentration. So constant amount of drug is removed from the body. In a nutshell, first order kinetic is like water moving out of a hole at the bottom of the container. Here rate of drug elimination is proportional to its concentration in body. And zero order kinetic is like cars moving through a roadblock. Here rate of elimination is constant irrespective of its concentration. This metaphor is not even close to how drugs are actually metabolized, but it's helpful to understand rate of elimination. I like this metaphor, so I wanted to share it with you. If it helped you understand the concept, please share it with your friends too. If you have different ideas regarding rate of elimination, tell me in comment section below. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.